Hi everyone, it's Carol here, the founder of the Sleep Success Academy. And in today's video, we're gonna look at or talk about how much sleep does a person actually need? Uh, you'll be surprised to know that it's not the same for everybody and that sleep, good sleep can range from three hours to 10 hours. So that was surprising to me when I read that in this book, and we're gonna use this book today to kind of look at how much sleep we really need. So for those who don't know me, like I said, my name is Carol Richard, I'm the founder of the Sleep Success Academy, and I love helping sleep deprived individuals get the sleep that they need. If you wanted to get my free guide, five action steps to improve the quality of your sleep, go to our website, sleepsuccessacademy.com. On the homepage, if you scroll down about halfway through, you'll see where you can put your name and your email address, and you'll get a copy of my free guide in your mailbox. And so today, what I wanted to talk about was how much sleep do we really need? So there's a few things I guess I want to talk about. One is how much do we really need? And then I want to talk about when people spend too much time in bed and how that actually affects their sleep. And that's because they have a belief that they might need this amount of hours of sleep. And so it can affect how much sleep we need. So I'm going to read some things out of this book because I think it's important to kind of understand this. And so I have to put on the reading glasses for this. So it does say that the amount of sleep that people need varies tremendously. There is no normal amount. Different people need different amounts of sleep. However, the amount that one person needs is amazingly consistent. Although you may sleep longer one night than another, depending on circumstances, the numbers of hours you sleep over a week or a month usually averages out very much the same. One week usually falls within one half hour of another. So that's kind of interesting because sometimes I will sleep more one night and less the other night. But overall, I'm pretty consistent between seven and a half, lately sometimes nine hours of sleep. So just pay attention to that. Like what is the amount of sleep your body wants? Keep reading. It says eight hours of sleep a night is usually the quoted average, although seven to seven and a half hours is more accurate for some people. Even that number is only an average and has nothing to do with what's good or bad. A good night's sleep can range from less to three hours to more than 10. In saying this, so there might be nights that I can function very well on three hours. And then the next night I might sleep 10 because I just had a strong sleep drive build and I got to sleep longer because I'm kind of, and I don't know if you actually make up sleep or from sleep that we've missed, but this would lead me to believe that sometimes we do, right? So, and I love this part. It says, we don't expect everybody in the world to wear the same size shoes, but somehow people think that we should all sleep the same length of time, right? So that's kind of interesting. And so what I really wanted to talk about is what I'm noticing that some people do is they think, oh, I need to sleep eight hours, say, and they end up staying in bed trying to get that eight hours of sleep. And so they can try to get eight hours, like say over a period of like 10, 12 hours. And so they're spending so much time in bed because they have the belief that I need seven and a half to eight hours in order to have good sleep. And like the book just said, it can be anywhere from three to 10 hours. If you're in bed, say for 10 hours, are you sleeping the whole 10 hours? If you're not, then what you're doing is you're depleting your sleep drive by staying in bed longer than what your body actually needs for sleep. And so I want you to start paying attention. So there's this really great article from Dr. Colin Espy. He calls it the five principles of good sleep health. And in there, one of the principles is to personalize your sleep. And he says that in order for us to be able to know how much sleep we have, we got to do it or how much sleep we need. We've got to do it by trial and error. And that's right. We experiment with the amount of sleep that we need. So do that. So if you know that a normal night is between three and 10, how much sleep do you really need? What's your average? So don't go by everybody wears a size eight shoe. So I'm going to have eight hours sleep. Go by Okay, anybody can have a different size shoe. So what's the right size for me? What's the right amount of sleep for me? Okay, so I want you to start experimenting with that. And then I wanted to read um, another part here because 
Um, they did some studies or they had put some article in a newspaper asking people how they sleep and they had, oh, it says it here. So some people seem to get by on very little sleep. When two sleep researchers put an ad in a newspaper asking for people who slept only a few hours each night, they found a 50-year-old executive and a 30-year-old draftsman who both said they slept only about three hours a night. A week in the sleep lab confirmed their claims. Both said that just they just didn't need, feel the need for more sleep. So if you only sleep six hours or five hours a night, maybe that's enough for you. Then they go on to say another patient, a 71-year-old woman, was sent to a sleep clinic at Dartmouth because she had never slept more than three hours a night throughout her entire adult life. She felt well during the day, still cross-country skied, every day in the winter, hiked frequently during the summer, and was politically active in her town. A checkup at the sleep center showed that her sleep was exceptionally sound, and indeed she was quite healthy in getting enough sleep. And so she was active during the day, she was getting three hours, but it was deep, deep sleep, and she was quite active. So what if it's okay that we only sleep five, six hours? If they're really nice, sound sleep, that would be okay and enough for her body. And then they say a well-known physicist, on the other hand, needs 10 hours of sleep each night. If he gets only eight hours, he has a great difficulty concentrating. He says he feels like he has a tight band around his head and that he is so foggy he can't do his research. If he gets 10 hours of sleep, he's fine, right? So how much sleep you need varies from person to person. I really wanted to kind of share that with you just to help you understand that it really is an individual thing, the amount of hours we need. And I want you to start learning to listen to your body. And this is very difficult when we're sleep deprived. So I'm not talking like this is not talking to the people who are only getting one to three hours that is not restful. First, we have to get our sleep under control. And that's what we do in the Better Sleep Community. So if you haven't heard of my online program, you can go check it out on the website. So sleepsuccessacademy.com and then click the sleep support page and you'll see uh, all the details of the Better Sleep Community there. And yes, it runs every 12 weeks, but you can join at any time. If you have questions, email me at support at sleepsuccessacademy.com. However, Once you have your sleep back under control, you can consider, well, what's the right amount of sleep for me? Is it six hours? Is it seven and a half hours? Is it nine hours? And from there, you can actually feel rested and do everything you want to do in your life. So that's it for me today. That's what I wanted to share with you. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, why don't you share it with someone that might need it, like this video, or put a comment below and let me know what you've learned, what were your insights in this video. That's it for now.